So now since getting kicked out of Binance, I've been putting on my altcoin positions on BitGet. So today what I'm going to be showing you is how you can put on your first long position on the BitGet exchange. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Now for the sake of this demonstration, I will be using the USDTM futures contracts. All right, so go ahead and click on USDTM futures. Now we are going to be trading on leverage, so quick, quick, quick heads up. Now for those of you who have no collateral on your account, you guys are going to have to go ahead and transfer US. USDT collateral into your USDT M futures account. Okay, so all collateral is in USDT. So go ahead and do that. So all you got to do is just get on over to your wallet. Okay, just got to toggle on here, get on to assets, click on assets and click on transfer. So now on this page, you can transfer the USDT from your spot wallet to your USDT M futures wallet. So it already sort of auto fills it in for me from spot to USDT fill in the amount right here okay and then scroll down and hit confirm and that should transfer the usdt from your spot wallet to your usdtm futures wallet that way you can start trading right away okay there are no fees associated with that so just a quick heads up all right now because this is a demonstration i want all the important information to be in your faces so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to adjust my boxes and yes you can actually do that on this exchange which i like so freaking much all right, so now I've gone ahead and adjusted all my boxes. Just a quick tip, guys, for those of you looking to move the boxes around, you're looking for the top right-hand side corner of the box. You'll see the three lines. That's going to help you move things around, okay? If you're looking to adjust the size, just look at the bottom right-hand side arrow right there, and that should help you adjust the size, okay? Quick tip. Now, jumping into the meat of this demonstration, we're going to be breaking this down into a step process. The first step of this process is picking the coin you want to trade. Now, I didn't come in prepared um, with the coins, however, However, to make sure that I have an edge on the trade I take, I'm going to be using the Mango dashboard to guide me. All right, so here's the Mango dashboard. This can be found on app.mangoresearch.co. There's a free version, so go ahead and check it out. All right, so now from this list, as you can see, we have bullish long signals across the freaking board. Everything is looking great. Um, let's go ahead and pick Cardano, okay, from this list. ADA USDT gave us a long signal um, three days ago. All right, so we're going to be picking Cardano today. All right, so now to select the coin that you want to trade, I want you to look at the ticker on the top left-hand side corner of my screen. Right now, the default is Bitcoin USDT, and it's always going to be your default. Okay, if you go ahead and hover over that, you're going to see this drop-down menu. Because we want to trade Cardano, we're just going to go ahead and filter Cardano out from this list. All right, so Cardano USDT it is. And this is Cardano's chart right here. Now, it's very, very important that you guys make sure you're on the right ticker. It is absolutely imperative because always the default is going to be Bitcoin. All right, so now the second step is selecting the leverage that you are looking to trade with. And to do that, I want you guys to look at your order card. And on the top right-hand side corner, you're going to see Leverage 20X highlighted in blue. Go ahead and click on that. All right, as soon as you click on that, you'll be presented with this pop-up that says adjust lever. Okay, now I am not looking to trade with 20x. Instead, I'm looking to only trade with 5x. All right, so I'm going to toggle it down to 5 and hit confirm. All right, that was the second step. The third step is selecting between cross and isolated margin. All right, now to do that, I want you to look at the top left-hand side corner of your order card. You're going to see cross highlighted in blue once again. Go ahead and click on that. All right, now you'll be presented with this pop-up that gives you two options, isolated or cross. Now you guys can go ahead and pick the one that best suits you. For me, I'm going to be sticking with cross for this demonstration. All right, cross it is, confirm. Cool beans, now that we've gone through the first three steps, we can go ahead and put on that long position. It is very, very important that you pick your asset first, guys, because you see this leverage right here that we just toggled down to 5? That is usually defaulted at 20x. If I if I go on over to another coin, that's probably going to be sitting at 20x. That's going to up your risk significantly if you miss that even by mistake. Now we can go ahead and put on our first long position. But hey, guys, if you're liking this content so far, do smash that like button because it goes a long, long way. All right, and if there's anything that you have questions on, mention in the comment section below and I will clear it out for you. Now with that, let's go ahead and put in our long position. All right, so now Cardano is currently sitting at 53 cents. My account equity, which you can see right here under USDT assets, is sitting at $1,600, so I'm 1686. All right, so it's a very, very tiny account. Now based on that, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a bid for 445 Cardano. So now I'm gonna be posting my order on the order book. So I'll be posting on the, one of the top five orders, okay? 445 Cardano, I'm gonna go ahead and say buy long. 
As soon as I do that, I'll be presented with this pop-up asking me to confirm my order, okay? It says 5x leverage, ADA USDT, open price, current price amount for 45, margin is only 47 USDT, and I'll say confirm. As soon as I do that, my order gets placed on the order book. Now to make sure that your order is on the order book, all you got to do is get on over to open orders, which can be found right here. Okay, you'll see in the open orders list, I have an open order for Cardano USDT 445 Cardano. Okay, another way to make sure that your order is on the book, you'll see I have a line, a horizontal line that says open long position on there. That's one other way in which you can see that I have an order on the book. If I want to move my bid up or down, I can actually do that. All right, however, we're not looking to do that, so I am not going to click on confirm. I'm just going to hit the X instead. So now I'm going to wait for my order to get executed. And it got executed. So now that our order has been executed, if I go on over to my positions tab, which would be the first option on your transaction records menu, as you can see position right there. If I click on that, you'll see my open order for Cardano USDT. All right, so now that we've opened our first long position on Cardano USDT, before going over any of the position information, what we're first gonna do is set in a stop loss. All right, now to do that, I want to bring your focus back on over to the order cart. Now, by default, you're toggled on to open. I want you guys to toggle on over to close. All right, so now as soon as you do that, the next step you're going to do is click on trigger. As you can see on the third line, you have order options, limit, market, trailing, stop, and trigger. Go ahead and click on trigger. Okay, as soon as you click on trigger, you'll be presented with these three fields. Trigger price, execute price, and amount. The trigger price is a price at which you say enough is enough. I need to get the hell out of this position. This trade did not go as planned and I want out. Okay, what price is that going to be at for you? Now for me, because I took my trade on Cardano, I'm saying that underneath this wick right here, now the wick low on this came in at 50 cents. I'm like anything underneath that, I'm wrong on my trade. I want to get out. Okay, so for me, that's going to come in at 49 cents. So if price hits 49 cents, get me out of my long trade. Okay, that is the trigger price. That's the, that's the price that I'm saying, ah, I need to get out. All right, now the execute price is the price at which my long position gets closed out at. All right, so the execute price for me is going to be, well, what is this Wicklow right here? The wick low once again comes in at around 50 cents. I'm like, okay, you know what? If price actually comes down there, I'm expecting a bounce maybe to around 51 cents. So what I'm going to say is, all right, if price gets down to 49 cents, I know I'm wrong, okay? But I'm expecting a bounce there, so get me out instead at 51 cents. All right, that's why I want you guys to place my bid on the book at. It's like a conditional order, guys, all right? If this happens, then do this. All right, so if price comes down to 49 cents, then please close out my position at 51 cents. All right, now how much of my position am I looking to close out? I am looking to close out the entire thing, so 100%. Okay, now what I like about the BitGet exchanges is that all these action buttons are so self-explanatory, right? Close, short, close, long. Now that I know I'm in a long position, I want to close out my long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click close long. As soon as I click on close long, I'll be presented with this pop-up that says this is going to be a trigger order close. All right, 5x Cardano, the trigger price is 49 cents. If price gets down to 49 cents, please place a bid for me at 51 cents. How much of my position do I want to close out? I want to close out the entire position, which amounts to 445 Cardano. All right, now with that, I can go ahead and click confirm. As soon as I click on confirm, you'll see that on the chart, my close order has been placed, which is now depicted by this red horizontal line. Now, another way to make sure that your close order has gone in successfully is that under your transactions card right here, I want you guys to toggle on over to the open orders menu tab. As soon as you click on that, you'll be presented with other options. The first one is limit, trailing stop, take profit and trigger. What we just placed was a trigger order. So go ahead and click on trigger and, and under trigger, you'll see that I have an open order, which is basically the stop loss order that I just placed. Alrighty, now with this out of the way, let's get back on over to the positions tab because there are a few details we're gonna have to iron out to make sure that you are being safe on your positions. All right, so now to make sure that you have all the information about my position in front of you, I need to sort of toggle these boxes once again, so give me a second. 
Alright, so now seconds up, and here is my position information. Now from this entire card, the only piece of information I want you guys to keep your eyes peeled on is going to be your liquidation price. Okay, now my liquidation price has never burst, but oftentimes you're going to see a number here. Now that number you want to steer clear of, and why is that? Because if the underlining asset that you are trading hits that number, so it starts trading at that number, your entire account goes to zero. Now, my account equity is currently sitting at $1,685. If my liquidation price gets hit, my entire account goes to zero. So that entire $1,600 gets wiped out. All right. Now, what does never burst really mean for me? Right? What is my true liquidation price? What never burst essentially means is that my position size is so small that Cardano has to start trading near zero for anything to even happen to my position. Okay, but oftentimes what you are going to have is an actual number over there, a number that you want to steer clear of. The two ways in which you can steer clear of your liquidation point is number one, add more collateral into your account. Essentially the same steps we went over in terms of transferring USDT collateral from your spot to your futures account. Okay, that's one way in which you can do that. The second way is by closing out a part of your position. All right, so now that you know how to open up your long position as well as set in a stop loss for your open long position, we can now go ahead and close out this position. Now, there are two options on your position card that will help you close out your position. The first option is the close button, okay, highlighted in blue. The second option is the flash close button. Now, the flash close will take your orders and sell right into the market. All right, so it's going to take the first order on the order book. Whatever the best bid is, it's going to take that right off, right? What is the disadvantage of a flash close? Well, the disadvantage is that you incur greater fees. You have to incur taker fees, which is a lot more than maker fees. Okay, now there's one way in which you can reduce these fees altogether. And to do that, just check out the link in the description below to the BitGit exchange, where you can get up to $8,000 in bonuses as well as reduced fees. And trust me, guys, these fees, they freaking add up. Okay, so now that's one way in which you can reduce your fees altogether. The other way is by essentially placing an order on the order book wherein you incur maker fees. You're making liquidity for the exchange as opposed to taking liquidity away. Now, maker fees are less than taker fees, so you can go ahead and place your order on the order book wherein you will incur less fees. Okay. All right, so now to do that, we're going to opt for the close button right here. Okay, highlighted in blue. Now on top, you're going to see two fields, close price and close amount. Now the close price is the price at which you want to sell at. Remember, we are in an open long position. Now to close this position out, we need to sell back into the market. Okay, so now I'm looking at the sell side right here, as you can see, and I'm going to say, okay, fine. You know what? I'm looking to close off my position at 0 0.5304, 0 0.5304. Okay, and how much do I want to close out? Now, immediately, as soon as I click on that, it gives me options. Close out only 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100%. I'm like, okay, fine, you know what? Close out 100% of my position. I'm going to say 100%, and when I click close, it gives me this pop-up. It says this is going to be a limit order. The close price is going to be this right here, basically the number that we entered in, 0 0.5304. And how much, do you, how much of your position do, would you like to close out? I would like to close out my entire position, which in my case is 445 Cardano. And now I'm going to hit confirm. Now, as soon as I hit confirm, my order gets placed on the order book as well as on the chart. As you can see, we now have a close long position. To get a better visual on it, I want you guys to toggle on over to your open orders list right here. And you'll see that I have an, an open order to close my current long position at 0.53041. This is one way in which you can close out your position. Now we're going to wait on this order to get executed. But now guys, with this, you know how to open your first long position on the BitGet exchange as well as how to set an e stop trigger order for your open long position. Now I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. That way you can keep up with the latest mango juice. And with this, trade safely, trade stress-free, trade the mango way, trade the easy way. Ciao, you guys.